a petition opposing the surprise decision to rename the second seven crossing the Prince of Wales Bridge has been signed nearly 15,000 times in less than 24 hours. The UK government and Welsh Secretary Alan Kenz immediately came under fire for announcing the change without a public consultation. It was called pathetic and insulting, as well as being described as a late April Fool's joke. The petition is titled Stop the Renaming of the Second Seven Crossing to the Prince of Wales Bridge. It says, Let's name the bridge after someone who has achieved something for our nation. Let's consult the people before renaming it unilaterally. Comments from those signing it included, Why not name it officially at Bonhaffron? Promote the Welsh language not continue with our weird obsession with the royals. Another said, This name has been forced on us with no consultation. Where's the originality? Pathetic. Labour and Plaid Cymru politicians criticised the renaming but the Welsh government confirmed that Mr Cairns wrote to First Minister Carwin Jones last year and that no objections were raised. Mr Cairns said he was not surprised at the reaction but claimed the wider, silent majority is absolutely with us. He urged Republicans to respect the Prince because of his work in the community. The name change comes ahead of the final abolition of the seven tolls later this year following the return of the infrastructure to public ownership. The renaming is intended to mark both the 60th anniversary of the Queen giving Prince Charles the title of the Prince of Wales when he was nine years old and his 70th birthday. The second seven crossing was inaugurated by Charles in 1996 and he is due to attend the renaming ceremony, 22 years on. At the beginning of this year the tolls were reduced after the abolition of VAT on the charges as the crossings returned to public ownership, with Highways England, a UK government-owned body, taking over responsibility for the bridge's operation and management from Seven River Crossing plc. Transport Secretary Chris Grayling said, lower charges on the Seven Bridges have already saved drivers more than £3 million helping boost the economy in Wales and the South West. This is a great way to usher in a new era for this iconic crossing. When the tolls are removed by the end of this year, more people will be able to take advantage of even more new job and business opportunities on both sides of the Prince of Wales Bridge.